Cape Town, South Africa. Between February and July of 2012, the South African Jewish Museum was home to an exhibition of the life and sculptural art of Herman Wald. Born in Hungary in 1906, Wald lived and worked in South Africa until his death in 1970. One of his large monumental sculptures, the twice life-size Kriya, stands at the entrance to the museum complex. The old Cape Town synagogue, which houses a permanent display of ceremonial art, is a fitting place for this massive defining work, from which the exhibition takes its name, the Wings of the Schina, a beaten copper protective shield for the Aron HaKodesh, commissioned for Johannesburg's Berea Synagogue in 1959. Beside the wings, two screens show the genesis of some of Wald's pieces. An animation shows how the simple lines of his preparatory pencil drawings would make the transition into finished sculpture. A passageway links the old shul with the South African Jewish Museum's permanent exhibition space, opened by President Nelson Mandela in 1998. A descending spiral staircase gives access to the space where the Herman Wald exhibition is displayed. Moses, the Lawgiver, one of the last works done in Europe, is an iconic departure point. Around the statue there are quotations from carved thoughts. Wald's book on aphorisms, written as a soldier in the Second World War. Around Moses, Wald's genre subjects reflect the debt to the values of his early life. Growing up, he was surrounded by Jews from diverse backgrounds and religious traditions. The cultural atmosphere of his early years is captured in these figures. They are rendered with humour, affection and expressive power. They are monumental despite their scale. In complete contrast, this series of enigmatic sculptures, his final works, achieve a metaphysical essence through the purification of form. Throughout the exhibition, comprehensive text panels guide the visitor, giving a full context to his life and work. The pieces chosen for display are grouped according to Wald's major themes. Erotica and the human form, African subjects, the Bible and sculpture, portraiture, late transcendence, and his large public works. The public works are represented by maquettes, and large-scale photographs of the full-sized monuments. Through his interpretations of the human body, Wald explored the sexual, intellectual and spiritual aspects of humankind. He interpreted the human form in diverse ways, repeatedly using its beauty and expressive potential to communicate his vision of love, procreation, maternity, sexuality, and the erotic. The exhibition continues in the adjacent Samson Gallery. In this space, the dominating piece is this massive carved choir screen, Sanctum.
As we move round the room, we are first introduced to his portraiture before encountering his biblical work. Having grown up in a religious household, it follows that the Bible would be a primary source. Despite the injunction of the second commandment, forbidding graven images, he persisted throughout his life in illustrating biblical themes. There are comprehensive displays of many of his conceptual drawings, showing the development of the ideas that he would ultimately translate into sculpture. His portraiture is mainly represented by a photographic record, as the majority of the original works are in private ownership. Throughout the exhibition there is a rich archive of photographs, representing that part of Wald's work which is now either privately owned or has been destroyed in the demolition of the public buildings he decorated, or simply lost in the 42 years since his death. A video presentation introduces the visitor to the artist as a man, a drawing together of Wald's creativity and personal history. A separate display interprets his life through artefacts and the original manuscripts of his written work. Visitors to the exhibition have a direct access to the website, which represents a complete and comprehensive resource in the life and work of Hermann Wald. The layout of the exhibition allows visitors to experience Wald's work through the careful grouping of his themes. The clear timeline connects his sculptural art to his life story and to the history of the time and the world in which he lived. The Cape Town exhibition of Herman Wald's sculptural art closed in July 2012.